Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so we were touching on in the previous video when we go into these crappy relationships in our adult life, okay? And it's because we're so used to the abuse in our childhood that that's all we expect from life. We, we expect that we don't deserve any different. We don't deserve any better. We don't deserve any more than what we were given. You know, and that's what we're used to. We know how to do that because we've just lived through that for 15, 20, however many years. That we may have gone through a whole you know, childhood without any love at all given to us. We don't even know what that looks like. Okay? But what I am trying to tell you in this video, the day that you can truly forgive, especially when you're going through your adult life and you've gone through all these crappy relationships and you feel to yourself, why? Why was that person so mean? Why were they so abusive? Why were they so hurtful? Why did they do those things to me? They had no right to do that. There's so many people that go through with these thoughts in their mind the whole time, okay? And the truth is that you're going through your adult life and you feel that you don't deserve any better than that. You don't deserve anything else than what you've been given, you know, what you're being given. If you honestly look at yourself, if you honestly look at the thoughts about yourself, do you ever stop and think, oh no, I deserve better than that. I don't deserve to be treated that way. And so many of you may get to that point and walk out of that relationship and many of you will go into another one, you know, of the same pattern, it just keeps repeating. You know, some of you can walk out of it and go into a completely different pattern. That's what I decided between my two relationships. I decided to flip it and go the total opposite of what I did the first time because I didn't want to relive that. To me, that first relationship was too painful and I didn't want to relive all that again. You know, feeling that I wasn't good enough. I didn't want to do that. But some people, because that's all they know, they just go to the next relationship to relive that and relive it in the next one and in the next one because somehow they, they don't realize, they don't come to that point of realizing, that, no, I deserve to be loved for who I am. I have so much to give because this is the problem. So many people sit there and I've got nothing to give. I don't have any degrees on the wall. I don't have any special talents. I don't have... I don't have, I don't have, I don't have. But what you do have, and it's the most important thing, is inside of you. Because just like you, all anybody else wants in the world is to be loved, to be acknowledged, for someone to care that they exist, someone to celebrate their existence while they're here. You know, for someone to be happy that you're here. It's such a wonderful feeling for anyone. For anyone. So, today, I want you to really think about that. Because you're so busy in your mindset that you don't deserve, that you're not good enough. You're looking at all the things that you're not. You've been taught, you've been conditioned to look at just that, to look at all the things that you're not, to look at all the things that you don't have, to look at all the things that you lack. That's all we've been taught in our childhood. Very few of us are taught, you know, very few, more than that. And I'm here to tell you that what's most important in anyone's life, what's most important in yours, in mine, your neighbors, in your mums, in your dads, in your brothers, in your sisters, in anyone's life. Doesn't matter what color your skin is. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter if you're a hundred years old. Doesn't matter if you're five. Everything that matters and that is important is inside of you already. And that is your love. That's your love, your joy, all the wonderful things you've been given to truly enjoy this life 
to really appreciate it and enjoy it and to get the most out of your existence. It's already inside of you. It's not out there. It's inside of you. You know? My greatest mistake in my first relationship, I spent the whole relationship thinking, you know, my first partner, my first boyfriend that I had, I just felt I wasn't good enough the whole time. I just spent all those years that I wasn't good enough for him the whole time. And it's taken me over 30 years to realize, well, hang on a minute, <laughs> you know, or, or 20 years or whatever it is, the difference. I think, well, I had a heart full of love for that person and I could see who they were. To me, they were just the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. At the time, I had a heart full of love for that person. And to that person, it was devastating when I broke up with them. You know, it took them many, many years to get over. Because all I did was give them my love. I didn't want anything else. I just wanted to be with him. To be. Nothing else. I didn't want anything else from him. I just loved being with him. But somehow in my head, that wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. And so today I want you to really, really take that in. That everything that you need is already in you. It's already there. You already have all the love. And there's no end to that love. So it's not like, oh, you know, you get a liter of love and you can give, you know, 200 mils to this person, 200 mils to that person. And it's going to run out because you only get a liter of it. So you've got to be careful where you hand it out. No, there's no end to it. There's no limit to how much you can love and how much love you can give. And to who? Or to what? It could be a cat, a dog, anything that you love is worth your time, you know? Anything that you give love to. All right, my darlings, I love you guys. So always remember that everything that you have is already in here. It's not out there. You've always had it. You've always had it with you, all right? Love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye for now.